Welcome along to SUTV Live off the back of a 1-0 victory for the Blades away at Cardiff. The perfect way to go into a World Cup international break to go through all the action from today's game. Please say I'm joined by Kevin Gage and Ellie Wilson. Um, well, three points. What a game it was. Um, let's start off with the first half, shall we? Um, Kevin, we wanted to start on the front foot and we did that in that first half. We, d we did it for the first 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, we looked quite bright and lively. But then, then Cardiff actually came right back into it. And, and, and they were the best side in the first half. I think we rode our luck at, on occasions, didn't we? They had some, some quite good opportunities to, to hit shots on target, get headers on char target. And they just missed the target on a couple of occasions. So we were lucky to go in at nil-nil, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. You know, they definitely had the better of the chances. I think we only had sort of one maybe two efforts on goal and and it was quite open I'd say the game you know when we did have possession even though it was quite comfortable it wasn't really threatening at all so that was something that we needed to address going into that second half they were hitting us on the break weren't they in that first half they, yeah. they caused some lots of problems Callum Robinson especially uh, running at our defense and, and drifting wide and getting some good quality crosses in and you know they really should have been one nil up and then that defensive blooper that Chris Basham tried to pull the ball back to our goalkeeper got it completely wrong and we were so lucky to not to not concede there we, we actually defended it really well once we've made the initial mistake we defended it really well and got some blocks in but we were very fortunate there I think Cardiff will probably look at that the whole game to be fair the chance they had late on in the first half and late on in the second half and think we probably deserve to get something out of that just based on the quality of those chances but mm. on the whole um, I'd say they dominated the first half chances compared to us in the second half well, let's talk about that second half then. McAtee comes on, inspired substitution, and from, from pretty much minute one of that second half, domination. Literally a game of two halves, wasn't it? Because from the first whistle of the second half, we were on the front foot, we were making challenges, we were getting closer to the opposition, we, we were attacking players with the ball. McAtee made a big difference, I have to say. Oli Arblaster didn't do anything wrong in the first half, but he was a little bit anonymous, didn't really get on the ball. But McAtee, as soon as, he was a, as, soon as, he, as soon as he got on the pitch, he got hold of the ball, he was running at players, making things happen. One or two lovely little mazy runs, just trying, to, just trying to play people through at the right time. He's fantastic. Mm. Yeah, it's, that's the thing that, that we were missing the in the first half, sorry, was just that attacking quality and effort going forward in terms of the intensity of it and I think that that change was was a good good change at the mm. time because McAtee is great on the ball he's got really good vision his quality when he's dribbling with the ball is is fantastic as well and we saw from the first half uh, sorry second half chances where he's you know played Osborne in and played decent little crosses in that he has that quality to be able to just go and create something just out of nothing. Mm. And, but all around the pitch, we were, we were, we were at it, weren't we? Mm. Like Norwood was making more tackles. Egan, Basham, Clark were, were getting closer to their defenders. And we weren't letting Cardiff get out of their half. Every time the ball went forward, we were intercepting things and just keeping the pressure going. So it was a, it was a tremendous first 10, 15 minutes. Obviously, we got the goal at perfect time as well, just as we were beginning to dominate. We did. I remember before the game, at half time, we said, we're going to need a moment of magic. And we yeah. got it, didn't we, via uh, George Bulldog? Yeah, it was it was a moment of magic. It was a great, you know, passage of play as well. We know Ollie Norwood's got fantastic vision and quality of, of the ball that he can play out wide to Bulldock and yeah, McAtee again involved in the build up of that goal. Um, just composed, keeping hold of possession and again just with the intensity of, of the general play, like George is just pressing that defender, pressing the ball that is probably loose but it's not really it's there to be one if you go after it and he's straight at it, um, composed in the box and, and it's a great finish. The the ball from uh, Norwood to find Bulldog was yeah. was outstanding, world class. You know, to ping a ball at that height. I mean, it literally like like an Exocet missile, wasn't it? Yeah. Zipped across the surface, right into George Bulldog's path. It was fantastic. And then it was all about George linking up with McAtee. And, yeah. and as we as Ellie just said, we're trying to get McAtee just trying something just out of the ordinary, just trying something a little bit different. The back heel we tried didn't actually come off. It got caught up between someone's feet. But Bulldog kind of read it, gambled that it would get to him and got his just rewards because it did. A nice bit of resilience. So that makes it three away wins on the bounce. Great momentum going into an international break. How important is that, Kevin, when you come back after this World Cup break to look at your previous fixtures, look where you are on the league table. It must really inspire some confidence I, I, to be a real I, positive. I don't think it's... In, it's it, 
when, when you come back from the break, you won't be looking at the Cardiff game. You'll, you'll just see the league table. I don't think it, it, it makes any difference. It's just a wonderful away win. These three difficult away games, to come away with, with nine points is, is really special. And it's performances and results like that at the end of the season that make the difference between you know, top six or top two or finishing champions. You know, we, we, they, are, they are wonderful three away victories we've had there. It's like the fine margins, isn't it? You know, in this league, it's so competitive and tight for points that, like you say, you'll come back after the break and you won't necessarily be looking at, oh, what, what went well in that Cardiff game, what didn't. You'd just be happy that you've got those three points on the board because ultimately that's what counts. And, you know, when you're going for a top six spot, promotion, whatever it is, every game, you know you've got to be at it. Every game is a cup final in the sense that you have to get points on the board. And, and they've done that the last few games, which is, is exactly where they'd want to be. Certainly have. Great way to go into a World Cup break. Of course, two players... Davidson and Jay going off to represent their respective nations as well, so we wish them well. Absolutely, and, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm really pleased. And Jay didn't have a brilliant game today, but I, I, I'm so pleased that he came through it unscathed. Mm. You know, it, it would be a, a crying shame if he got any kind of knock or injury that ruled him out. So thank God he's got through that okay. Yeah, no, massively. And uh, good to walk away with that three points as well. Uh, of course, as we go into that World Cup break, though, there's still plenty of action and things for you to keep an eye on because uh, early is going to be in action right here at Bramall Lane versus London City Lionesses. That is on the 20th of November. It's a one o'clock kickoff. Come on down. Uh, their record attendance is 4,100. They want to beat that this time round. So come and get your Bramall Lane fix during the World Cup. 20th of November, as Sheffield United women take on the London City Lionesses. And of course, when we come back from the World Cup, the football comes back thick and fast with Sheffield United taking on Huddersfield. Then there's an away match against Wigan before we're back here at Bramble Lane against Coventry on Boxing Day. And we'll round up 2022 with an away trip against Blackpool. Massive thank you to Kevin and Ellie for joining us in the studio today. A perfect way then to end it going into the World Cup break. Another three points on the board. Thanks very much for joining us here today on SUTV Live and we'll see you next time.